Thank you for taking us to the vineyard, Monique. It was really nice. Thank y'all for coming as a group. I really appreciate all of the togetherness. Okay. I need to just start buying wine by the barrel. Ooh. Okay. Like, that would make Maybe life so much easier. Maybe that could be easier. your next to start a vineyard. I'm gonna be like, Karen, I ain't gonna make the wine myself. I'm gonna just put my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta have startup money. You gotta have the capital. Or investors. Nice. <laughs> Y'all just got lines for days. <laughs> I mean, it's just, it's true. I mean, you have to spend money to make money. You got to make millions to owe millions. And I do. So you have to have money to spend And you would know. Money. Yeah, actually, yes, I would. Yeah, because you use Michael's money. And so what? You use Ray's, and? Oh, my gosh, I got you. Listen. So, is Icon Enterprises Ray's business, or is it Karen's business? I'm going to do it one time and one time only, Ashley. My marriage is an institution, OK? Yours is a fake the world situation, OK? You look so miserable with Michael, and you will come after my marriage. I would stop now. I'm going to try and be nice about it. because you're the one not wearing your ring. I'm gonna do it one time and one time only, Ashley. My marriage is an institution. Yours is a fake the world situation, okay? Really, Karen? Because you're the one not wearing your ring, and you're the one who was talking about Ray's penis is old and dried up. Not me, but no. I've had enough, Ashley. So this is a facade. Oh, hush, Drop Ashley. We're done. We're good. Drop the facade. You got a nerve. I've been very forthcoming that I have problems in my marriage. You, you, have. you need oh, to try it. When I first met Karen, she gave me this whole list of things that I should and shouldn't do in order to fit into Potomac society. In Potomac, the women especially, you know, we've earned our position. So it's respect that gets you into the circle. Your life was falling apart right as you were trying to tell me how to live mine. Now, I'm feeling a little duped. Life is a struggle, Ashley. There are good days, there are bad days. Bad years, bad decades, what do you need? You obsess with my life. Get over me. Karen, you talk such a big game, girl. Girl, ain't nobody talking no game. Give you a few bottles of champagne and you act like you're Beyonce. Beyonce. Oh, you okay? know what, listen, it's all it's good, just, Ashley. Not, we're done, we're done, baby. You may be like. You're an old book I saw yesterday, like bye. A, you know, a broke version bye, of bye, Tina bye, Knowles. Bye, bye. Oh, jeez. Woo, this is getting good. Oh, you would know broke. Your husband not only kicked your ass out, he moved you a mile down the street from your sweat box and put your ass in the studio. Karen, do you really want to go there, Karen? Your husband talked to my husband, and you don't want to know what he said. Oh, no, let me tell you, I did talk to my husband. And so I called him and told him what you told me. And Ray says, I'm ready to semi-retire. He is. He's going to be 71. He says, I'm looking for a place here and a place that you got the Florida part right. You just found that out last night? No, no, baby, I knew it all along. I wanted to hear it from my husband, because she said he said he wanted to leave me. No, he said he's going to Florida with or without you. No, that's not Meaning you weren't an integral part of the equation. No, that's not what he said. He just didn't want to hurt your feelings. I believe he Ray all day over Michael and you. But Ray shouldn't believe Trust you. Trust and believe. You take your fake marriage and ram it up your ass, OK? Your husband always crying when he's around you. You make him miserable. I leave my institution alone. It's well established. Karen, you're a blatant liar. What you do is you sneak into situations, get close, so you can get some information and go put a fake oh, news spin on it. I'm done of, with your ass, there okay? There are a lot of things about oh, you that I haven't. I'm still standing. You, where and you, you at? I hope you continue I, I, to. I, I will, boo-boo. Karen doesn't say a lot about her personal struggles, but she's dealing with a lot of crazy sh in her life. You got taxes, you got a sick parent, you're trying to get a business off the ground and keep your family together. I, can, I cannot. I would love to see Ashley handle all of that at one time. What would that look like? And what kind of friends would you want in your corner? If, if there's something else that needs to be said, then say it, Ashley. She's told me things in private and confidence, But when okay? you dangle them out in front of the group, you might as well just f***ing say it. Why? I wasn't talking to you. You don't have to be talking to me. I was talking to Karen. You don't have to be talking to me. But you wanted to involve yourself. So all you know how to do is bullshit and make up and stuff. Like, I have nothing to lie yet, about. I didn't but, make that up. But yet you, you want to cry wolf. wolf. Thing, but yet you want to cry wolf. And then once you drop them when it's convenient for you because it works for you in your time. You know like, what you can on, do? Girl. You can suck a dick, Ashley. What color one should she suck? The white one or the brown one? <laughs> Whatever one she can find. Jeez. Everybody take a Xanax. Good God. So, gotta have everybody's calm down. Well, outside of the arguing, this has actually been a pretty fun trip. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get out of this car. Mm -hmm. We just need to go back 
take some lavender oil, rub it on our foreheads and the back of our necks, and go to sleep and reconvene in the morning.